Judy's Mind Body, welcome. We're moving with very slow movements here. This is a circular movement through Qigong. Exhale slowly down as the abdomen moves in. Use your abdominal muscles right here. You want to really connect to your core. Lengthen up, open, and exhale down slowly through three Dan Tians, we call energy centers. The top one is the head. That's the third Dan Tian. The middle one is your heart and lungs, the second. And the primary is at the abdomen, and that's first. Triple burner, moving through those three Dan Tians, is like you burn the energy all the way down here with your slow exhale. And you can feel it also going to your feet, even though you don't go to any farther than this. Inhale, expanding the ribs through the lungs. And feel it also in your nostrils and in your mouth, which is slightly open, curiously enough. That's the Qigong breath, where we place the tongue on the upper palate as we inhale. And as we exhale, we feel it in our throat as well as the nose. And we also feel the abdomen pulling in slowly as you come down through triple burner, which is done nine times. That's about three. We're going to do six more. Beautiful, feel the circularity, the softness, the continuity, and the feeling of moving through the center body or the central meridian with this exhale down. And one more, inhaling through nostril, mouth, Abdomen area, lungs, of course, and exhaling down slowly. So the breath and the alignment become connected. The connection comes from the core, and the connection comes from the lift of the crown of the head up from the back of the skull right here by a string. Of course, this is all in your imagination, but if you begin to feel it, you'll come into heaven and earth. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Watch that the shoulders don't rise too much. It's more of a feeling of stretching up and breathing from the core. Inhale, center, opening into the accordion where you feel like you've expanded your ribs and exhaling back slowly. Bring the other arm up into heaven and the other opposite arm down towards earth. Flatten the palm, stretch through the whole core and through the whole arm. Your feet are in a V. This is called ride around a horse. It's the same thing as if you looked at your hands like this and they were out in an angle. Both of the feet are slightly angled out. So let's do that with our hands also. And we'll begin to turn from the core towards your left. I will be mirroring you. So that's your left and this is your right. Inhale. Arms are in a T. And you're going to start twisting from the abdomen, rib cage, upper chest, shoulders, and finally the head. And you'll feel your whole area of the lower body also making this turn. As long as your feet are in a V, your knees, your ankles, your hips are moving, or at least feeling the movement as one without torquing anything. And now as you move across to the other side, inhale here, take a deep breath and exhale all the way across on your twist here, twist of all the nerves that come off the spine, helping to create 
relaxation response. And feel a long inhale. And use your peripheral vision to see yourself as you go and a long exhale. If you look really slowly as you turn, you're adding your eyes to the whole thing. Using peripheral vision is excellent for the body, mind, spirit that we're creating today in continuity. Beautiful, coming back to center. Bring the palms up, bring the feet a little bit close together here, a little bit more, but still in a V. And we'll do a little bit of this rocking motion. This is we are going to be our first movement in Tai Chi Cha today, but we're going to start with this feeling of creating it, feeling the palms relaxed, the fingers relaxed, the toes relaxed, feeling like a rocking chair ourselves, back to the heels and forward to the toes. And because I'm barefoot, I'm going to let myself feel the toes lift feels the heels lift. I could do this with a stool and you're welcome to do that. I have a prop nearby. And we'll try that in a second here. Let's do a couple more of these rocking motions. And you can take a moment to get your prop and some water. Let's try the rocking motion with a stool. And this will be simply to lengthen the whole area of your uh, thighs and calves as you move up and down. So you're holding onto the stool, you're inhaling up, coming to the balls of the feet. You can bring one arm up if you like. That would be an accessible heaven and earth area. And now bring the other arm up as you move forward to the balls of the feet. Lifting up. Yes, so use this kind of a prop any way you like. We're going to look at the side-to-side -side weight shift with the stool. So shifting across this way, shifting across back. This leg on the left for you will be more with more of a knee bend than the other side. Because one leg when it straightens is yin. The other leg when it bends is yawn but the legs are always exchanging. And we'd love to do this without really feeling like we dip, not like this, but that everything has a, is on a clothesline across, connected to the top of the head. Beautiful, and let's go out here to the back of your stool if you have one. We're going to shift into the stool here a little bit bending this knee and release the yin leg. The yin leg is the feminine leg and it, will, it has resilience. The masculine leg is pretty solidly in the earth. That's the one that's slightly bent. So you can play with this foot any way you would like to. If you have a wall, you can do the same thing. But what it does is it creates the feeling that when you drop this heel, there's only 10% of the weight in it. When you shift forward and this knee bends, now you've got this as the yawn leg and the back leg is the yin. The heels lifted a little tiny bit. So that's your forward back weight shift practicing with stool. I'll shift over here behind the stool so I can bring my leg up. I'm just gonna feel that resilience of it. Release the heel, shift forward and shift back. Good, now you can try the other side. This prepares you forward, your forward back shift. So whatever leg is near the stool is the one you're gonna shift into. That'll bend and the other leg will be ready to move forward and it's gonna come first, play with itself to be the resilient yin leg. And you'll drop your heel and you'll be able to move forward here. Feel the lift of the back heel and then the lift of the front toe. Heel, toe. So there's notice how there's a place in the middle where you're 
just moving forward. And finally the heel lifts and you're moving back. And then after some time, the toe lifts. You can see that on the video, I hope, or feel it. And the arm is helpful. So one exercise I would recommend for in the middle of the night, if you cannot sleep, which happens to me sometimes, I want to create at that time. It's supposed to be a very creative time when nothing is happening on earth. The yogis all use four in the morning all the time or two. It's a special time. So this is a creation thing that you can play with. So this is the normal um, Tai Chi walk or Buddhist walk. You're going to first shake it out before you start. So we're all relaxed. Good. And now you're going to shift into your right leg here, which is over here for you. You're gonna drop your heel forward and place your thumbs on your hips so that you really feel just the ease of this walk forward. It's gonna be the heel through the foot, the front of the foot. And then when you're ready, you bring the other foot forward, heel, middle of the foot, front of the foot. Now I'm assuming some of you have bare feet. That's what I'm doing. So it's easier in bare feet because you can feel the full foot and in the middle of the foot's called the bubbling spring. You're coming through that acupressure point, and then you're moving to the front toes. So feel it as much as you can. Now go back, placing your left ball of the foot on the floor, or whatever's the opposite foot for you, and then come back through the toes, the ball of the foot, the middle of the foot, and the heel. And as I'm watching other teachers, I think, oh, wow, that's a really creative, creative, good idea. So let's move through muck. This is the muck, like this. You're gonna hold onto these muddy ropes, okay? Shift over towards your right, bring your left foot out, take hold of these ropes and pull yourself forward with a big grabbing hand. The, muds are, the ropes are muddy and pull and pull and pull. And actually this stretches your hand out. Okay, now you're gonna pull back, back. And you really have to tighten your hands here. So this is really good for your muscles in your arm and in your fingers. Good. Okay, so you could do that any way you want to, but let's go back to our triple burner. We're just now creating our slowness. The continuity we have in Qigong practices, which are thousands of years old, that move through three areas of energy, your head, your heart and lungs, and your abdomen. And respecting the connection of the trade routes that came from what would have been possibly Nepal all the way to the area of Shaolin. We don't know how many thousands of years this is, but maybe 10,000. And this always feels like a sunrise move to me when you open up like this and you see the sun and you go, oh, wow, thank you. You're here today. And is the rain coming through the jungle or is it coming through Bernal Heights on our little hill? Or what's happening? Is there rain or sun? And what's coming through the trees? or the forests, or the jungles, the magic of nature. Triple burner. Bring in whatever you want, whatever you see outside. It makes these moves so special. Buddha picks up the earth now, that's you. Buddha may have been many people we don't know. Inhale here and exhale down. Inhale up through your core. Push up the world into the sky, exhale. Buddha picks up the earth is the name of this Qigong move. We'll do three more.
open up your nostrils, place your tongue on the upper palate, feel the breath as you expand your abdomen, as you contract it towards the Ming Men, your lower spine. And one more. A Buddha picks up the earth and sends it into the sky. Picking up a feather and letting it go, the thumb and the forefinger together, we're gonna to face this wall for you or if you're outside in some forest, that forest, and then exhale down as if you were painting that picture in your mind, watch it go. Inhale and flatten the palm as if it were a brush, paintbrush. Beautiful, come back to center. And we're gonna shift the foot a little bit out this way so that we can do the same thing over here. The back leg seems to be lengthening. The heel seems to be wanting to come up. Let it do it. Allow your body to move as one. So the heel is lifting back there. And you can feel the toes better if you focus on that. There's an inner shift here. And the whole rib cage opens on that one side. It's a beautiful feeling of extension of the leg, of the arm, and of the rib cage. And let's go back and do the other side. So shifting this foot a little bit more. Feel that length on your inhale. And the exhale down slowly. Make it fun for yourself. Smile through it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be whatever it is for you. And let's come back to center and inhale with a propeller, bringing your arms out into a T here and then twisting from the core all the way around so that you see what's behind you when your head comes over the shoulder. And you start with your abdomen, you move into the rib cage, into the upper chest, and then the shoulder and the head, everything turns. A spinal twist in the propeller, a Qigong twist. And then let's go back to our Buddhist walking meditation for a moment and carry a big bowl up here and shift to the right, release your heel, then the middle of the foot, the front of the foot, then the other foot slowly. One more. We've got to go backwards here because we're going to hit another waiter. So bring your ball of the foot down on the opposite side. Shift back, do this really slowly. Even slower than we want to go. <laughs> Maybe make a shorter step. That way you have more control. Okay, beautiful. Shift it down. So you can make up anything with this. This is the kind of thing you can do in the middle of the night. Make it like here or make it there. Make it there. Make it up there. <laughs> Just use your Buddhist walk in some kind of fun way. All right, now we're going to look at um, several groundings. So inhale up to the heart, exhale down to the abdomen. The middle Don Tian is here at your heart. Breathe up slowly using your funnel breath to the head. That means make your Lips into a funnel and exhale down through the heart. And just go right back up now, even higher to the trees that you envision. Exhale down. And then a more open movement all the way up to look at the sky, the clouds, the moon, the sun, whatever you envision there and hold it but keep breathing. 
And then slowly, when you're ready, come down slowly. And we're going to do the fountain. So placing your thumbs on your, right here, right at the core here, right on your hip bones. You're gonna fold forward from the hips flat back and now round the back and bring the hands all the way down to lie in front of the feet here. And the feet are in a V. And just relax those arms like you're, you're a pendulum, pendulum and let them go. Good. Now you're gonna bring the backs of the palms together. Inhale all the way up slowly. Use your funnel breath because we're getting it ready to do more on the nostril soon. And then slowly coming down, bringing the backs of the palms together, folding forward from the hips flat back and then rounding the spine. The fountain. Now we'll add some sound. Inhale for ah. Ah. <laughs> Next one will be E, but we'll go over first. Take it to slow. Ready for E, inhale first. E. Ah, uh, E, E. Eh. L be next. Go back down. Come back up for E. Eh. First inhale and then do the E. Eh. Eh. And the last three would be ah. Ready? Ah. Ah. A. Inhale up. A. There's a lot of these vowels, sorry. Oh, wait. <sighs> Exhale over first, come back up. Oh, round the lips. Oh. And the last one we're going to do something fun with. It's gonna be ooh. Inhale. Ooh, ready? Ooh, ooh. and shake it out all over. Start with your feet. Come up to your knees, come up to your hips, come up to your breasts, come up to your arms, let it all go and be weird, ghost-like. Ooh. Aha. Ahi. Aho. Ahu. Good. That's enough to warm up your voice any day. Okay, now you're going to bring your fingers up here to your shoulders. And this is the chicken. Come forward, up, back and down. Do you dare go block, block, block with me? I dare you. Ready? Block, 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 block. B-A-W-K. Block, 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 block. Take it a little higher. Block, 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 block. Very good, I can't hear you, but I'm imagining you're doing this craziness, okay? Now we're gonna go the opposite way without any block block. Forward, back. And for some people that helps because we tend to tense through the shoulders. You can't tense when you're trying to make a noise. <laughs> All right. And now go forward, up, back and down. And notice how that opens up your chest like crazy. Good, very nice. Now we're gonna go across. This is knocking at the gates. It's a little more aerobic, but we really don't really care whether it's slow or fast. We just wanna relax all the joints. And this is for the skin and the muscles, the external chi. Very good. And notice how your knee, your ankle, and your hip move as one. If we have to move the foot and release the heel, we do. Good. Now come back here to your kidneys here in the back of the body. Looks like that. And notice how you keep have to keep some space there. So you don't want to 
bend forward too much with the upper chest or that diminishes that space you need under the breast to do this. Now you're gonna to come to your lung points, which are just right near the underneath arm here, only a little higher, that's your heart and lungs points, lung points. Very good. Now we're gonna shake it out. Bringing the palms behind you, you might wanna just like you bring the palms together like this only back here and then draw your shoulders down and bring the chin to the chest. We're gonna do some head rolls. The head and neck is where we often hold a lot of tension. So as you move one ear towards one shoulder, come around and back and then go to the other side. Be gentle on yourself. You can always start with a very small circle and not do the complete one because you want to make sure that you don't cause any harm to your body. So take care of yourself. When you come back to center, chin to chest, we'll go the opposite way. We just went to your right and around. Now we'll go to your left, okay? Both ears need, one ear will come closer to the shoulder on the side that you would start your breath on. At least that's what happens in my body and it may be different in yours. So. I can't speak for your body. You'll have to just begin to feel where it works for you. I've seen another wonderful exercise like this, which starts way up high like this. You start with little tiny circles and then you allow them to get bigger. And then they finally get a little bigger. and then you return to center. So that's another really great one if the big circle doesn't work for you. And then we're going to now move into our hips here, forward, side, back, side. And we're really moving slowly through this circle. Come, you come to the front here, start the other way. We went that way first. Now you're gonna go this way first. So forward, this way, back. You always wanna do the reversal of what you just did. With real awareness of how it feels, right? There's no particular way of breathing here. It's just a matter of really feeling everything open up between your lower back and your hips. And the spine is still really long. Good, now bring the knees together. We'll fold forward from the hips, flat back, first finding a long spine here, like you've got a string up in the back of the head there. Fold forward, take hold of your knees, and we'll do the same principles, that circle that moves forward to your right, back to your left. So we're doing the same thing we did with the hips, but we're doing this with the knees, with the feet together this time. And then the opposite direction, right, forward, left, back, or whatever you didn't do before. <laughs> no rules. Just kind of engage your mind to focus while we get all our joints open. Good, now you're gonna come down the shins all the way towards your ankles. Bring the feet apart. Come back up again, inhale. And now we're gonna come into the, a twist from yoga that has you balancing on the toes. So you're gonna come forward, lengthen through the spine, come up under the balls of the feet, release the heels and twist this way towards your right. You're still on your balls of your feet, as far as it's comfortable for you to go. Maybe you can see all the way back there, I don't know. Come back, center on the inhale. And the twist is always on the exhale. Inhale first and then twist towards your left. Staying on the balls of the feet, it means your heels are lifted. It's a little bit uh, just testing your balance here. 
Come back to center. And inhale and let go. Bring the palms behind you for the owl. Inhale, bringing your only the whole body is lengthened here with your arms clasped back here. You can actually bring the arms up if you want to maximize your space in back or in front. And then you're going to bring the palms down, but still holding them together, not raising your shoulders on the inhale and just moving your head towards the right. The body stays completely still. It's the owl, early morning, through the mist. Maybe in Glen Canyon, there's a bunch of owls there. Come back, inhale, see here, center, and then exhale over to the other side. And maybe even make a sound of an ooh, ooh, ooh. And inhale, ooh. You want to become the owl? Make a sound. Inhale, make the sound on the exhale. Inhale, make the sound on the exhale of a woo. Good. <laughs> okay, great. Let's shake it out again. All right, and now we're going to come from that. We've done all the Buddhist walking meditation stuff, the accordion, the propeller, etc. And now we're transitioning from knocking at the gates to tapping down, tap down, come through the inside of the legs, the calves here, up here, and then the outside of the legs as you come over consciously, coming back up, and then tapping up here to your belly and your upper chest. Make a Tarzan sound. Oh, that's our chest voice there. Good. Now you're going to come down this arm, tapping down on your right arm and up or whatever arm. Just remember where you are. And then the opposite one and back up. And you can even tap a little bit on your face here very gently and perhaps even take hold of the outsides of your ears. And this is for the whole body. You're gonna pull here, inhale, pull, 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 pull. That's seven, it's supposed to be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is part of Qigong massage work. And then you can massage down this arm, and the inside of it, this is going to be turned into the heart protector move later. Only we will only be doing it with chi and not touching. And then this side. And the inside of the arm. Good. Shake it out. Great. And we're kind of come to our swimming motions. You ready for these? These are to open up the shoulders even more. And let the feet go with you like you're a mermaid or a merman. I guess that's the right word. All the joints want to move now as one. The arms, the legs, the hands, and the breath goes along with it. Very nice, nice crawl stroke. Good, now let's go with our backstroke. Let's just stay on our raft here. But you can see that we've opened up the shoulders, we've opened up the arms. We haven't quite opened the fingers yet. So we're gonna do the air guitar. This is when we play the guitar all the way up like this. It's a weird guitar for our guitarist down there. Sorry, I can't make it more like, we're touching frets lots of times, fast. Good, but you can feel it's like a piano almost, right? A sideways up and down piano. All those digits are getting relaxed. Good, now we'll come back to center, shake it out. And we'll go the opposite way. We're gonna start over here. 
and we're going to go up. It's a uh, diagonal, some kind of guitar or piano. I don't know which. <laughs> Good, so we're getting the digits now. We're gonna come back to center. Gonna bring the elbows close to the body, but not touching tight like that, just relaxed. And we're gonna circle the wrists and we notice that the forearms and even the upper arms are kind of getting all involved in this thing. You can feel it even up to your shoulders because all of the joints start to reunite after a while. And since we're really swimming today, let's do the breaststroke. Exhale out. Come through the water here. There's a little bit of push, pull up here. Exhale out and make a swish sound. Swish. You're using your core that way. Inhale. Use your core. Swish. S-W-I-S-H. Swish. Breaststroke. Beautiful. And that's all very nice. I think we covered a lot of what we need to do to prepare ourselves for our final Hatha Yoga. Hatha Yoga and Qigong and Tai Chi, all united in Qigong. The prayer. This is for all of our friends who really like all of us need to move somehow every day. So we're not just sitting, but this is also really a beautiful way you can send energy to someone or maybe even just yourself. So I do love this one thing from Justin Stone that he said, which is you can't just read the menu you have to eat, <laughs> meaning that we need to practice a little bit every day, something, swimming, biking, moving, whatever it is, as well as thinking about what we eat, I suppose, but it's all connected. So in a moment here, once we finish our Qigong, we'll drink some water because hydration is all part of that. When you're thinking about breathing, moving, and working with the brain, Now let's leave the fingers a little bit apart here because we probably have quite a bit of chi between the palms already. And one more prayer with this separation. The legong points in the center of the palms are somehow connected by now. And open out the palms this way and bring them back close together. And maybe begin to feel the chi because the palms are rounded. Nothing is tight in the fingers. You can even move them to check and then come back on your exhale and feel the inhale at your abdomen and rib cage. The accordion. This is called expansion. and contraction. The contraction moves towards the low spine, which we call the Ming Men. And it's connected through the whole alignment that we've also created. With the crown of the head, the back of the skull connected to cervical, thoracic, and lumbar spine. All one long line that will send us now into this move bringing the feet a little bit closer together and resting on globes of energy. Right at the low Don Tien, which is two inches below the navel and about an inch or two inside the body. This is all internal work. And we'll come into Tadasana, the mountain pose. Coming into slowness, Circularity, moving from the center, grounding through the earth and feeling it within. 
as we lengthen up also. Rocking motion, Tai Chi Cha. Feel an inner smile right about your cheekbones area. That'll help you feel some joy because this is also called joy in movement. So release the jaw a little bit, relax the face. The gaze is forward and comes from the center of the forehead here. It's the third eye. Feel the freedom of that. Envision yourself in a rocking chair and you are the rocking chair. Rocking forward and back. Heels lift a little bit off the earth. Toes lift a little bit off the earth. It's very contained minimalist practice of movement, making it ideal for our balance. Most of us as seniors, but anyone can learn this. And it has a figure eight, which is for long life. Good health, taking care of ourselves and the discipline of some kind of daily practice that we do to keep ourselves fit, joyful, even when things don't go always the way we want. Resilience in our power. and developing a sense of self that we're all worthy, can be kind, generous, and live in community. And now we close the movement and we move into bird flaps its wings, feet in a V, and now you're on the edge of a branch and you're gonna to learn to fly. Inhale and sink. Come to the balls of the feet. The heel come up, comes up. Inhale back, lengthen through the spine. Slowly back and a little bit quicker out on your circle here, where you start to fly. And inhale slowly back. One. And on the third one, one wrist circle. Make it really soft and gentle. And the third one, a bird flaps its wings. And open the legs and sink it through the earth. Feet in a V, rider on horse position. Double ground, it brings you to the heart. Sink it down to the low Dan Tian and rest on globes of energy in resistance to gravity. Shift to the right, bring your left heel forward. Around the platter in chest high water.
Two more on your left side. Beautiful, bring that foot back in. Come back to rider on horse, inhale. Sink it slowly down. Shift to your left. I like to hitchhike here. Bring your left, your right heel forward. And then we're in position to move forward here with the circle starting outside the front knee and then back to the opposite side. Good, inhale. Feel the energy move towards the back foot. Slowly, right? Breathe. Three more. See if we can keep our rhythm even here as we come forward here. And then slowly back to bring in the front foot. And sink it through. When we get to the right side, we're going to do a double grounding, okay? So between sides from left to right, we do one grounding today, but double at the end. And sometimes triple because it's really good for us to ground. Bring it up high. We need to lengthen our spines. Exhale it down. Maintain the length of your spine. Beautiful. Shift it over to the right. Release your left heel. Around the platter variation, you're going to pick up a ball of energy right over that left leg and drop it center right opposite your heart and lungs as you exhale back. Breathe in through the nostrils. The tongue is on the upper palate. The abdomen's also ready to take this with help, and the spine is keeping it all together. A circle within a circle. Two more. Last one on your left side. Inhale to ground once. Shift the weight over to the left. Release the right. Pick up your ball of energy right opposite that knee there only way above it. And then sink it in the middle. Feel the connection of that ball between the palms because your legong points in the middle of the palm are very connected here. So when you pick up this ball, it's really a lovely inhale forward. And then you don't really want to even drop that ball, but you need to. So because you need to exhale. There's the exhale. Beautiful. That feels so good. Inhale it and sink it into the ground. So you don't really have to watch me all the time. You can look above the screen. Sometimes it really helps. Let's double ground it. And we'll pick up some water here. I see one of you are doing that. It's a really excellent idea. So let's get some water. Hydrate. Thank you. Mm. I drink water to all of you. A toast of water. <laughs> mm. 
We're coming back now to start bass drum. We're going to shift to the right, release the left. And bass drum is something that goes all the way around you. So as you come around with this arms like this, you'll be able to feel the elbows come back with the hips and you become the drum. Left heel forward and start. Back foot is right uh, 45 degree angle or less to the front foot. And the front foot is just connected hip, knee, ankle, big toe. The angle of the back foot helps with balance. And the heels are somewhat apart here, so they shouldn't be interlocking visually. You want to create enough space so that you've got space between your hips and your shoulders. Then the whole body works as one. Feel the rim of the drum here as you inhale forward and the circularity of it as you move back. The continuity of it rhythmically. The sense of moving from the center body, your entire spine, the head erect, not coming forward. This is a beautiful move to teach your best friend. That's how I started teaching all my students. And last one of bass drum on your left. Single grounding. Shifting to the left, releasing your right heel, and preparing for bass drum on the right side. Become aware of how the chi is building between the palms. They become a little warmer, a little redder, and you feel something there you can't quite describe. Well, that's the energy of the chi your intrinsic energy is starting to move through the whole thousands of cells of your body. Two more on your right side of bass drum. Last one here. Bring the right foot back in and we'll double ground it, bringing it to the heart on your inhale, exhaling down to the abdomen, inhaling all the way up to the head, feeling your core come in towards the Ming Men as you come down slowly right here. Feel that move in. It moves to the back of the low back there. One more. Now feel the back, the low back open up on your inhale. It's not just the front body. And now exhale slowly down and feel the whole sense of contraction here. Beautiful. That's what grounding is all about. And then you rest on these globes of energy. And we begin our next move which is going to be daughter on the mountaintop, shifting to the right, bringing the left heel forward, palms are open, just like you're in Tadasana mountain position. And you are, because you're gonna go up to the top of the mountain and there's two of them, and there's a center central trail here. As you come down, bringing your left hand closer to the heart than the right. And feel the front back shift. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. I'm noticing that we all do this slightly differently. And I think that's great because we all feel things a little bit differently and we all have different bodies. So some of you are going all the way up here and coming down. I think that's great for you. Some of you are right here. It's smaller. And some people are even really smaller like this. So find what works for you. Daughter on the mountaintop. Bringing your left foot back now. Inhaling and exhaling. Single grounding here. Shifting towards your left foot. Releasing your right heel. Starting daughter on the mountaintop. Your left hand will still be close to the heart, however that is for you. And your back foot in a 45 degree angle. And of course, this is heart shape. So your own heart is close to that left hand for you, the closest one to the body. And when you cross the wrist in the middle, that's right at the heart making a complete beautiful heart shape, the two mountains up here and this central trail that we come down. Three more on this side. You're on your right leg now with me. And last one. Bring the right foot back in, come into rider on horse and double ground it. Bring it all the way up because it's fun and bring it all the way down because we need to come into relaxation response on the slow exhale. And now we shift over to the right, bring the left forward for daughter in the valley. And here's the tops of the mountains. You're gonna come down them and then inhale here in the center as you come forward, cultivating chi between the palms. Palms never touch, but you can feel the energy there. We wanna feel that inhale as long as possible and then see it all from the top of the mountain. and smile. <laughs> it helps because we're moving very slowly. We may as well enjoy it. Last one on your left side of daughter in the valley, inhale and exhale. Shift to your left, release your right. And we do the same thing again. We start up here on top of the mountains and we come down like this in a heart shape, inhale through the central trail and come over the mountains as we exhale back to see what we just came up again. The valley and the top.
Two more. Last one. Daughter in the valley comes to a graceful conclusion and we double the grounding. And we prepare for carry the ball to the side. Twisting here, picking up the ball of energy, releasing the energy into your right leg, releasing the left, which is straight, your yin leg, and now shift across as if you're sitting on a stool, bringing the abdomen and the buttocks right underneath you, and then sinking here and leaving that sink and that sense of being on the edge of a stool come across again like you're on a park bench or a long grand piano stool, whatever works for you. Feel the rising and the sinking, good. Wind up. Feel the shifting to the side. Beautiful, bring that leg in and the outside leg. And one more, wind up. Release the heel and move across. Like a jellyfish. <laughs> and sink. And we'll go across again, wind up. Release the heel and go. Carry the ball to the side and let it go each time with a little bit of grounding here really helps. And the palms are so soft now. And the fingers and the whole body, let the joints just let you get, you, get there. Squishy knees, but not too far down. And we'll go back one last time because it's so much fun. Side to side weight shifts are great. We have to move across the whole body, moves through the hips. As one. And last one here of carry the ball to the side. Bring in the foot, inhale, and sink it through the earth. Double ground it. And our next two are push, pull, and pulling in the energy. Shift to the right, release your left. Push in a circle down and then bring the heel of the hand up and the fingers and then turn the wrists and bring this back to yourself on an inhale. Push, pull. This is beautiful circle, circle here. Down and then up and then comes back to your heart on the inhale. Heart and lungs, feel that. Also called giving and receiving energy, a great one to do with your best friend. either literally or just mentally, giving and receiving. Bring the foot back in, sink it through the earth, 
Shift it to this side. Release your right heel. Push as an exhale forward. Inhale first. And then push. Pull back on the inhale. Feel it in your core. Last one on your right side. Of push, pull. Or giving and receiving energy. Sink it into the ground and double ground it. Bring it to the heart. Bring it towards the feet, resting here at the abdomen. Bring it towards the head. Bring it up, because we're going to start coming to the stars on the next one. So you may as well bring it up. Inhale up to the stars. Exhale back down slowly. Shift to the right. Release your left. Pulling in the energy from the farthest star in the universe with the fingertips up like this. Inhaling out, exhaling back. It's also a visualization. Where are you? Who's with you? What time of night is it? What stars do you see? Are you with someone you love? That's even better. Last one on your left. Release your left back. Single grounding between sides. Shift to your left, release the right. Pulling in the energy from the farthest star on your right side. Smile, it's a beautiful night. Ask for the energy from the farthest star. Have it come through your fingertips. Maybe it's even a more grand idea like peace, generosity, community, loving people, communication, whatever it is for you. It could be an idea or something that you actually see. Last one of pulling in the energy from the most distant star. Double ground it. Triple ground it. Basic tapio will be next, but we'll hydrate first because I think we're all thirsty.
basic taffy, left hand under the right elbow, pulling the energy between the palms and shifting over towards your left. And then towards your right, your right hand is under and feel the palms separate. They're not touching, but you're coming underneath that whole forearm area and then letting the energy go. And the weight shift is doing all the work to pull the arms apart. You're not really having to do anything except hold the arms there and then the weight shift carries it. One arm that's underneath comes up and the other arm that's on top moves down. Each time there's kind of a wind up here. So feel the hips make that turn and get you ready. And then a little bit of that crouch that happens, the rising and sinking on the inhale, exhale of your grounding and notice it all. Beautiful. Keep going here. We've got a couple more. And one more here. Coming back to ground on the left side for you. Feeling the inhale and the exhale and preparing for the next move, which is anchor taffy. You'll anchor your right leg and you'll come forward with your left, left hand under. Open up the hips, sink on the exhale, moving towards the left in your basic taffy. This is the first variation. Now right foot forward, right hand under. Open the hips and move to your right. The underneath hand is also the invite hand, inviting you to the right side. And now it invites you forward. You bring the anchor in when you return to basic taffy here from this variation. Here it comes. And now the anchor is going to be the front foot. True equity. Just the way yin and yang work together. Always giving a chance to the other leg to be yang or to be yin. It's great. Okay, we're going to close this move right here. This is anchor taffy coming to a close. Let's double ground it. And now we're going to come into circles taffy, our second variation. Sinking and rising with a circle. And on the third one, winding up and pulling back to basic taffy. Good. Sink it. Inhale and go again. When you inhale, you find your body lengthening. When you exhale or when you're moving across, you find your body coming into a little bit of a squat, but with the pelvis underneath. So notice all those little sinking and rising things because they're part of Qigong. Nice. We'll make this the last one. Let's go back to the left.
Beautiful. So nice. Let's double ground it. Bring it to the heart. Bring it up to the head. That's triple grounding, but that's okay. We need to bring it up even higher now because the third variation is very energetic. All the way up above the head to the stars and sink it slowly down. Perpetual motion taffy with heel step. Left hand under, right elbow. Heel down first before the toes and come through the whole foot like you did with the walking Tai Chi or walking meditation at the beginning, heel to toe. It's just a little lift of the foot here. And the knees are only dropping maybe a few inches, not much at all. Always making sure that we don't bring the upper body over the big toe. So we're straight up and down here with the pelvis underneath, and then it's comfortable. <laughs> Perpetual motion taffy with heel step. What a beautiful move. And this actually is a heart protector move too. It can come down the upper arm all the way down to the hand if you want to. Outside, we pretend we have cats, one on each shoulder. <laughs> We're gonna pet down the cat without touching the body which is like the heart protector move. And it makes it more fun. And that's an actual Qigong move, so why not? Tai Chi is under the umbrella of Qigong, so I like to do as much Qigong in it as we can. And last one now, perpetual motion taffy. We're going to inhale it and sink it into the earth. And I always feel sad when the taffies end because they're my favorite perpetual motion kind of thing. <laughs> All right, now our next one is working the pulley and you're going to start with your left, your right hand under the hip here and your left hand will come out from the heart. Shift to the right, release your left working the pulley. It's a diagonal cross. Outside, we try to not wreck the earth on this by sliding the front ball of the foot and the back heel, but you can also lift if you need to, and then lift and drop, depending on what you have underneath you. But here I'm sliding. Slide on the back heel. Slide on the toe in the back foot, I'm sorry. And the back front heel is sliding. The back ball of the foot is sliding. Depending on who's got the bent leg and who's got the straight leg. Basically, you just want to make sure that hip, knee, and ankle are in one connected line here as you do your slide. And now we'll bring this left foot in. Ground the movement. Let's ground it double because this is quite tricky. And shift your weight into the left foot. And now you're going to bring this foot this hand underneath on that side, because the dominant leg will be your right. And the move will be from the right hand, moving out on an X, in an exhale here as you slide diagonal here. Sliding on the ball of the foot and back. I don't know if you felt that or not, but I did. And now the front heel. Takes a while for the body to get all connected. So slowness helps. Make sure we lengthen up through the whole spine and don't bring our chest forward. <laughs> Want to feel as long as possible. And 
and we'll do one more on this right side. Beautiful. Bring the foot back in. Inhale, just sink it through the earth. We'll double ground it because we're now moving towards the end of our practice. But don't miss the ending because it's the best part. And you're going to bring your feet into a V. Inhale here and you'll bring the, our hands all the way up to the crown of the head. Feet in a V and sink and rise. Light at the top of the head and light at the temple, starting with the top of the head. Open, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Now hold the palms close together. This is the Tao, all the opposites that we've played with in this practice are connecting now and just let the palms and the fingers make a circle here above your head nine times slowly feeling that circle and now hold that energy there you'll feel the energy between the palms the leg points and sink and rise and let it go three times out into the universe and back to your own heart with your left hand on the top on the inhale. Sink it down through the central meridian. Bring it to your temples, which are just behind the ears. Feet in a V. Sink and rise, light at the temple. Thought, speech, action, the same. Circle the energy of yin and yang, all the opposites. Hold it. Sink and rise and let it go. Beat in a V. Let it go out into a circle around your body, bringing your left hand up to the top of your chest here. Inhale. Sink it down slowly. We're going to ground this before we go into rocking uh, joyous breaths. So just really feel that you can let this one go. It is, after all, about the temple, which is our head, our own thinking that needs to be connected to our speech and action. Now we're gonna inhale up for joyous breath because we feel the joy of this practice. Come up to the balls of the feet and sink it down four times. <clears throat> <clears throat> inhale again. Come to the balls of the feet and sink it down and drop on the third. <clears throat> now drop. <clears throat> Last one, joyous breath, smile. <clears throat> and sink it down slowly, coming back to rider on horse, feet in a V, a little bit wider apart. Double ground it. Passing clouds will be next. All things change. Come into your V and keep your feet on the ground. Here we go. You might even want to brush your elbow here. That's tradition, sort of a forward back shift within a side to side. It's kind of a nice feel. but you don't have to. And we don't follow the mirror hand now because we're 
definitely in this moving meditation and all meditation is simply about focus. Clarity. And moving from the center body, mind, body, and spirit. And bring the other foot back in. Sink. We'll double ground it. We next come into the six healing sounds. And because I think all life is somewhat practical, this is attached to a cookie sheet. <laughs> because I think you need to make cookies this weekend because it's St. Patrick's weekend. And this is for the heart and it's ho. And this is for the spleen, your digestion, and it's who. And this is for your liver and it's for tsu. Don't eat too many cookies. And this is for your lungs, it's sh. This is for the triple heater, it's she. And this is for the kidneys and it's tree. Enjoy your cookies and only drink water. <laughs> Here we go. Left hand, left foot. Ready? Ho. Oh. Ho. Liver. Tsu. Tsu. Lungs. Sh. Triple heater. She. And kidneys. Tri. Oh. She five trees, tree, tree. Use your heel step. Tree. Turn your palms over. Tree. Tree. Mixing the energy of yin and yang, all the opposites. Coming into cosmic consciousness pose, your left heel on your right ankle bone. Open up the whole area here. Bring your left hand closer to the heart than the right. Even out your elbows. Feel the weight into the full foot and the one that's just got your heel on the top of the anchor bone there. <laughs> and just feel that. Looking over the window of eternity and through it. Hold 30 seconds or less. Interlace your fingers. Bring them overhead in gratitude. 10,000 years of Qigong, six centuries or more of Tai Chi Chuan, and the work of Wen Shan Wang, Justin Stone's teacher, and the year is 1974. With gratitude to all of you, each of you, and everyone out there, and see you next week. <laughs> Have a great weekend, and don't eat too many cookies.